We are coming to you live from the Tobisa building, which remains under occupation by an unidentified group of terrorists. Half an hour earlier, police stormed the building, but were forced back under heavy fire and sustained heavy casualties. Units 1, 3, and 4 withdraw to 40 meters from the side entrance of the building. If they keep attacking, pull back another 40 meters. Move only on my signal. Copy. Can you get through to the basement? Our communications with the basement of the Togusa building in Sector 8 are being jammed by radio signal. Units 1 and 2 have been out of contact for the last five minutes. I see. Well, they're on their own now. It's me. <laughs> Alex! Alex! You the only one left? I don't know. I'm the only one who made it from our unit. <laughs> so you managed to survive, huh? You deserve a reward. And here it comes. <laughs> Michelle! I love video games. Drag! Uh, also known as... Hard Edge! in Japan and Europe. Dragadent Evil. Oh, we get to watch that intro again. Do I get to, can I skip it? No? Oh, I can't, fantastic. Michelle, look. Where are we? Inside the Togusa building. Seems we're the only ones who made it here from the basement. I'll make them pay for what they did to our people. Our first priority is rescuing Professor Howard, not revenge, Michelle. Yeah, I know. The SOS signal from the professor came from the 26th floor of this building. Let's see if we can get up there. Anyway, hi, it's me, Alex Track. You may be wondering how I got here. Well, it all started. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Here it comes! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Ah! Ah! 
shot. H shot. Look at this. This is great. Okay. High explosive. Armor piercing. Yeah, but it's also die hard. It's fucking, it's fucking, uh, final fight. Okay. Where the, the cool melee attacks take your health down. They're locked. I'll be better off looking elsewhere. Okay, maybe it is this way. There should be some emergency stairs at the back. The stairs or the elevator are the only ways up. I'll bet there's a trap in one of them. Yeah, let's split up for now. I'll take the elevator. You take the stairs. Okay, any problems, I'll be on the radio. Be careful. It's got character switching. Oh, look at this. They made a boobs bounce. Great. I love this. It seems quite good. Alright. I'll be back in a sec. I need to 
refill my water before I really get Jiggle Physics from 1998. Courtesy of Sunsoft. Good afternoon, Lionheart. that the map has a little polygonal model of your character locking in place. Stand aside Resident Evil Zero. Hard edge. It's got something to say. That's good. I didn't have anything to say. You just showed. I, I drank too much caffeine. Like, I just showed up and you're like, I'm leaving. I'm like, okay, well. Yo, that guy has a knife. Yo, I did a combo. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Yo, is this game... Is this game good? This game may be good, question mark. I'm glad you found something good in here. Life up. There's a network computer. Need a key card to access. Um... So she just looks it. Found a blue EX bottle. Yeah, this game moves fast enough. I'm surprised I've never seen this at a GDQ. Yeah, where where are my trag heads out there? Shout out to all the trag boys and girls. Okay, now it was at Summer Games Done Quick 2019. Okay. 52 minutes and 50 seconds. 
for... Was this any percent? I can't tell. Any percent, yeah. So, sub hour. Yo, I did a break. I did a spinning bird kick. Oh, fuck. I like this music. Yeah. It's very relaxed. By the way, I very intentionally went into this game not knowing shit about it. Other than seeing clips of the voice acting. Michelle. We can't be doing this for revenge. We can't be doing this for revenge. Just say yeehaw. Yeah, she goes yeehaw. <laughs> like the Texans say. To open the door, you need key card B. Uh, Brain, what if I was to tell you that Tower of Time becomes sci fi at some point? I would say that doesn't surprise me in the least. Yeah, it just seems to be every type of fiction in one. Man, this seems good. The white These attack strings seem like they flow together pretty well. Uh, well enough. They look, they look like they do. Enemy. Oh. I feel like this game is a perfect example of the the ethos of it has tank controls, but is it? Oh fuck! If I tap forward twice, I have a dash. This is that's a video game. dash and back dash in a game with tank controls. Curious, what games are on this list? This specific list? Oh, this specific category? Um, yes. There's another PSX game called Chaos Breaker. Um, Anything else? I, I feel like this must be the smallest. Well, Fear Effect counts too. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, this and... Uh, Covert Ops, Nuclear Dawn were like the two that immediately came to mind. I'm sure there are others. Did, how far did you get into Covert Ops? Ah, uh, I got to the second disc. Okay, sure. I believe that's about as far as I did when I played it as well. Like, that game's fine, but I got to the fight with the dude with the flamethrower and I didn't feel like I had enough ammo. Because, like, it... Or, that game is stingier with ammo than most survival horror games. Hmm. No, this is not a survival horror, Lionheart. The, look, look right here. The category is, it has tank controls, but is it scary? Ergo. QED. Yes. I like saying ergo because it it's a it's a fun word to say. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. 
I don't know what QED stands for, and I've never bothered to look it up because I couldn't care less. Oh, Rachel Howard, daughter of Professor Kevin Howard, abducted. I'm gonna remedy that right now. Quad erat demonstratum. Yeah. You know, from all those Latin classes I had during my <laughs> the semester I spent <laughs> at university. Yes, you know, for the... Listen, every... It is part of every young man's education uh, to learn To learn Latin, a dead language. To learn Latin and, uh, you know, travel to the Orient. <laughs> yeah. She's just significantly faster than the other guy. It seems like she runs faster, at least. Yeah, the right choice. There's no power to the automatic door. I need to find the main power management control panel. good line. It's a very good line, Reed. Yeah. Hey, man, you're putting out a Sunsoft yeah. game. Quality product. AIDS pill. What's your favorite Sunsoft game? They've touched so much stuff, but like, what was actually them and what was the thing they just helped on? Blaster Master. Rio's correct. Or, uh, Lionheart's correct. Blaster Master. Were they Fantasy Zone? No, that's, that's a second. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone, uh... Like Dynamite Cop. Were they Spy Hunter? No, Spy Hunter was uh, Midway. <laughs> oh, they made the NES port. See, that's another thing okay. about trying to figure out developers of older games. It's like, no, they did this version of it. Yeah, they touched. They've touched a lot of stuff. Oh, NES Batman. It's too dark to carry on. I think I'd be better off going back for now. Oh, uh, Albert Odyssey. Uh, I'll eventually play that. Apparently they did the second Saturn version of Mist. Sure. When is, when is, when is Chris Zombie Pie Redacted gonna be a real man, a real Mist fan, and play the second Saturn version of Mist? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, were they Chameleon Twist? That would not surprise me. Japan System Supply. It says, okay, no, so they were the publisher and everything. Yeehaw! 
Yeah, they've just had their hands in fucking everything. Been a hard time actually finding something they specifically made, though. They touched the clock tower games. Yeah, they did. Take that, terrorist. One of the last things they did was they uh, provided Japanese localization for abduction and the science work. Huh. Yeah, it's, it's it's like Sunsoft is one of those companies that has been around forever and has put their he hands in everything. But they were more a um, kind of auxiliary helper developer yeah. as opposed to kind of like Japan Studio in that way. Yeah. There's a lot of office desks all lined up. You see, now that I know that Albert Odyssey is one of their few original IPs, now I need to know what it is, despite the fact what I've despite what I've heard of that game's encounter rate or whatever. Was it encounter rate or was it the sheer number of, of uh amount of grinding you had to do? I okay. seem to remember Albert Odyssey being infamous for grinding. I just Odyssey. Hi. It's a JRPG. From Sunsong. There's a switch inside the locker. Push it. Yes. Fortunate researchers, there's something on the floor. Found metal. See, it is Resident Evil. Uh, I saw Gremlins 2 in that list, Lionheart. I didn't click that one specifically. Gremlins is one of those uh, classic movies I couldn't care less about. It's like when you hear people talk about the Goonies and they saw it as an adult, they're just like, yeah, it's, it's fine, I guess. I'm that way with Gremlins. It's a safe. Twist dial? Yes. This looks and feels like a JRPG more than a um, horror game. Is the character model proportions talking? I mean, there's that, the music that's playing, the, the little dagger she's wielding, the aesthetic going on, which is like somewhat Final Fantasy VII-esque. It's, it's fine, it's all future cop. There's something lurking around in the incubator. It's all technical words. I'm a woman. Alright, well. See, now I, I just want you to place, um, Tan and Spike. Need to know the glory of Cannon Spike. Although you can't play co-op, I guess, so you might not get the, the full experience. If you could juggle these things, this would be a 10 out of 10 video game. Yeah. 
Okay, and Jeff Hunt to when he uh, hates this game in 90 minutes. Yeah. Let me put that together. Yeah. Listen, when, when you cut to me going, ah, oh, fuck, I hate this. Um, just know that... There was a time. So this game had a moment. Is, uh, it can't be as boring as White Day. Can it? Well, I'm not playing hide and seek, so. Did you ever get to anything in that game? I got to the part where you fought the evil plant. Oh, okay, that's beyond where I watched. I found a, find a tube of first aid. Put it like back to tank. Yeehaw. Yeah, you know, this is just the Nakatomi Plaza. But anime. A reminder. Die Hard was originally going to be a sequel to Arnold Schwarzenegger's Commando. That they said, eh, let's not do that. Hey, and the, the world was better for it. The voice acting's oh. happening. Help me, please! Great. Got all these fists of the North Star characters. Yeah, yeah, they are real. This is the North Star. Thanks. I mean, this is just basically like 3D Final Fighter Streets of Rage at some point. What happened? This crazy looking punk appeared out of nowhere and killed a guy in the bar. A researcher, I think he was. I thought I was next, but you saved me. I'm the bartender here. King's the name. But what on earth's going on? Seems the building's been taken over by a bunch of punks. We're in an emergency situation. You'd be safer hiding over there. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Salsa music. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be safer hiding over there ducks underneath the the counter all right another med medallion I'm going to assume I need some of those oh I'm gonna find out the combination to the safe somehow. I'll take a picture of that just in case we need it later. Anything belonging to the man who died? No, don't think so. Wait a minute. He left this behind at the bar. You can have it. Maybe it'll come in useful. Remember when video games used to be good? God, this has like a certain like this the the VO and the salsa music gives me a strong sweary energy. Yeah. Let's play Mizerna Falls. Now, excuse me, but I'm gonna hide. Because that has an English translation. I don't know what that is, but I'm, uh, I'm saying okay. Mizerna Falls it's... is the original Japanese, hey, we got, everyone in Japan got very into Twin Peaks. 
Hmm. Uh, game. It's it's also kind of the I prototype saw it for it is. Uh, Deadly Premonition. It looks extremely obscure. I saw like some video of it once, and it looks like the kind of thing that barely anyone would talk about. That Brayden would play. Did you, uh -huh. see, the, did you see, see the Grimbeard video? Look who's smart. Look who's a smart boy. Who's the smart boy and took a picture? It was me. I need to do more exercise and not just rely on my physically st uh, strenuous job for it. Because at some point that'll not be there anymore. I need to do more exercise in general. Alright, there we go. I had to press. Yeah, I, for some reason this, yeah, this game is letterboxed. Despite the fact that it is a PlayStation 1 game. Which is my way of think saying... Maybe they didn't have enough, uh, maybe they had the letterbox and so it would run good, who's to say? But it gives you a wider aspect angle and everything. Listen, it's a directorial choice, and... <laughs> Listen, Marty, he loves... I also love the fucking clank, 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 clank. Uh, when you're running, pixels themselves are two by one. Why? Yeah. I swear to God, she says yeehaw like somebody who has never once in their life heard somebody say yeehaw. Aha, uh -huh. yeehaw. Is this our chance? Hmm. Okay, now I can open all of these auto doors.
Boomkipedia page says this guy, this game has a guy in it named Burns Byford, which is... Yeah, Burns okay. Byford. It's of not the, Dolph Bauer, you know, but it's... Of the New it. England Byfords, of course. I mean, what, who... What game has ever made a name as good as Dog's Bower? None. Okay, I see. Now we can loop around sure this something. floor. Uh, the, the lead protagonist of twenty Syndicate 2012 is Miles Kilo. I, I would argue that's better than Dog's Bower. I think it's trying too hard. Does Miles Kilo have a shirt that says Kung Fu on it? Or was it Karate? I don't it's remember. Just Either a shirt one that says Karate and then another shirt that says Sumo. Yeah. Just. It's all you need. He's a silent protagonist who don't really know what his t shirt collection consisted of. Yeah. Was Miles Kilo completely silent? Yes. Yes. Rosario Dawson does all the talking for you. Brian Cox is like, Brian ah, Cox is I'm like, back. Hello, it's me from the McDonald's ads. Hey, good for him. There's something stuck to the information board. Ooh. Found a locker key. You know, I don't know why this is in your dubious stream, because there's nothing dubious about this game. It's a classic. I... Is this something you've played before? Uh, I've seen it played before. Uh, are you telling me you, en you enjoy a game with fixed camera angles? And uh, tank controls? Yeah. When that game has a main character named Alex Bullet, then yes. The guy is called Alex Bullet. Name one better game character name. Miles Keaton. Dogs, Dogs Bauer. Bauer. Shit. <laughs> Shit. We had this conversation already. It is a oh. <laughs> Damn it. Dogs Bauer. Yeah. Um, Colonel Roy Mustang. Uh, it's not a video game name. But it is very good. Alright, so why do all these terrorists look like uh, uh, bio freaks? Uh, because some of them are probably. I don't know. If I was a biological freak, maybe I would do terrorism. There's you might as well point. at that point. I've played, I've seen it Resident Evil 6. I know how it goes. No, that's a dubious game. And there's that one guy in Resident Evil 6 who was Chris Hartman who turned into a bio whatever. Um, uh, I forget his name. Pierce, yes, Piers. Oh, yeah, Piers. Someone's left behind some men's underwear. Dot, 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 dot. Uh, 
yeah, thankfully, there's already recorded evidence of me playing Resident Evil 6, so no need for me to do that. Oh, good. Uh, did you do every run? Like, every sure did. character? Joku and I played that entire game. Cool. What'd you think of the uh, giant face boss at the very, very, very end? Uh, yeah. Uh, Ada's campaign is really funny when you're doing it co-op because it wasn't made for two people. It was the second. It was the second character play an as agent, just a dude. Agent teleports whenever she uses her grappling hook. Yep. Is this second character oh, she... in there when you're playing single player? Nope. Great. So they just gave up. Yeah. Like... I love just giving up. I mean, the, you can accuse Resident Evil 6 of many things, but giving up is not one of them. Oh, uh, fair. Except in that particular case where they're like, well, I guess people want to play the entire game co-op. Because they like hurting their friends. And then, you know, and then a jackass like me shows up and I'm like, <laughs> it's... This is what I want, actually. This is what I want, actually. No, wait. Nope. Already been in here. So, where are we at with the story? Um... Um, so you're playing as Michelle. I'm playing as Michelle. Hey. It's impossible to get through with these steel bars here. I'll have to think of a way around it. Need pass card to raise the steel bars. I have pass card A. I haven't had to use that for anything. But do you have the yellow key card? I mean, I can't. Oh, look at this art! Hold it, can I switch to Alex? Yeah, these are JRPG character portraits. Oh, fuck! Yeah, yeah you can switch. Take I that, can. Resident Evil Zero, you fucking hack. Yeah. Alex does not say yeehaw. What does he say? I, I can't put the, mute, the sound on anymore. Does he just grunt? Here it comes. No, he goes, here it comes. I don't know. Should say yippee ki yay. That should be about it. Pretty sure it's copyright. No, because it was a reference to Die Hard. You can't copyright a reference. Yeah. Yeah, it's illegal. I mean, if you, if you copyright a reference, then Seth MacFarlane would own every copyright in the world. Or he would be it, dead from being sued. Exactly. Exactly. Here it comes! Alright, so... Would Resident Evil be better if it was Die Hard? I think that's the question we're trying to answer here. Uh, I mean, hmm. isn't it already? Oh, is Resident Evil just Die Hard? Like, what do you mean if it was Die Hard? Like, like, like the movie Die Hard. No, I know that, but like, which aspect of Die Hard are you comparing it to? Uh, skyscraper full of terrorists. Okay, but what about 
uh, mansion full of biohazards. And by biohazards, the same thing. I mean mutant monsters. It doesn't seem yeah. the same as a skyscraper full of terrorists. No, because no zombie has ever been as charismatic as Alan Rickman, so... Oh, that is true. Oh, that's... There's, we got Wesker, I guess. Uh, By Al, 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 <laughs> wouldn't Albert Wesker be better if he was just Hans Gruber? Yes. Complete yeah. global saturation, cowboy. Hey, anyway, he was recent. He was recently playing Resident Evil on a train with terrorists, so that's close enough. It's true. Wait, so was the train out of control, uh, or was yeah. there a bomb on the train? Uh, yeah, there was a nuke on the train. So that was so that was what if Speed was Resident Evil? Um, yeah, kind of. Sure. I mean, it's also trying to do the Metal Gear like international espionage thing without the part where it's bat fucking sane. Oh, wait, Jatu has a very important question. Was it a money train? No. Well, so Alright, so what clip, if money plane? That but... clip of, Kel of Kelsey Grammer not giving a fuck and just going, You have to break down the money plane! It's very That's good. all I know about that movie. So there should be a uh, money plane video game that's tank controls. In no. The, in the style of old Resident Evil. Okay. No. What if Kelsey Grammer played Albert Wesker? Sure. Honestly. Oh, not current Kelsey Grammer. He, he sounds too old, but... Uh, yeah. if you got him, like, 20 years ago? Yeah, he could have he done a pretty damn good Wesker. 52. I mean, he played Beast in X Men. That's right, he did. It's oh, one right, of he the did. First X Men movies. Yeah. Also, that movie one was. Up. Also, that movie was how long ago? Two thousand five, baby. Okay. Two thousand five. Almost that twenty years ago. Okay. Are you sure that wasn't oh six? It was oh five or oh six. It was one of those. I remember oh, okay. this because. You get to say mid aughts. Two thousand six. Yeah. It, yeah. Exact year doesn't it, matter. Uh, it always matters. It super doesn't. Well, we know that the reason why uh, beloved uh, film director. Uh huh. What's his name? Brett Ratner? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh -huh. uh, he's responsible for X-Men 3 is be literally because uh, director who is uh, pro allegedly a pedophile uh, Oh Yeah, Brian Singer um, was too busy doing that Superman yeah. movie no one liked And Brett Ratner himself was also a sex pest Yeah Though not a pedophile So yeah. just fantastic job all around Yeah, way to go Hollywood Oh, and now because I oh, oh, need floor key to open the door, but it's not possible to open the door from this side. So now, if I'm because I I activated the the automatic doors on the other floor, I can go through this door. So you're saying it's a Souls game? No, I'm saying it's a myth. Is, it a, is this game a Metroidvania? Here it comes. This is devolved into the worst possible games it's conversation a, we can have. Is this video game a uh, roguelike? Mm. It is if no. you don't save. Well, oh, is isn't true. every game a roguelike then? Oh, yeah, that is, that is true. Remember when Gino played Legend of Grimrock 2 like it was a roguelike? Yeah, as that like, once again, a weird stop. 
Once again, a weird spite thing directed specifically at me, I choose to believe. Maybe. I mean, I wasn't directing my spite at you. My spite's been building for a decade. I haven't known you for a decade. Oh, no, I'm not talking about you. You, I mean, but do you, do you go out of your way to play games intentionally, like, wrong as a way to prove some point to someone Intentionally somewhere? wrong? I mean, I do mean, you count? Those games. I mean, do you count uh, summoning help on bosses as playing it wrong? No. No. Okay, then, no, I guess not. Elden Ring is going to be your favorite from game once you get the Mimic Tear and upgrade it. Jesus Christ! That's what I said when I upgraded the Mimic Tear and then didn't have to do anything for the rest of the game. Oh, I'd love that. Playing a Soul game and I actually have to play the Soul, Soul game. That'd be pretty good. You could just not play the Souls game. That'd be even better if you don't like them. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, but how else do we have enough vitriol to throw it uh, uh -huh. from fans? Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. no. Pop... This popular thing, I just like it. Uh-huh. That's why I, Brayden, Arbitrary Water Redactive, am constantly getting mad about Star Wars. You should. Oh, fuck Star Wars. Oh, fuck. This, this little girl kicked me in the face. Yeah! Ow! Huh? So the little girl's cruel, girl? cool is what you're saying. You don't look like one of them. You're not the girl who was kidnapped, are you? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm <Rachel laughs> Professor Howard's daughter. I'm Alex from the Special Forces. like that we've come to rescue all the captives are you alone yes i think daddy and the researchers are locked up in another room okay why are my ad breaks right. three minutes you instead of 90 seconds for us, and i'll go look for uh, you might want to go check out the there's like a slider no, in your settings change something you. they they do that fairly worry. regularly it's too dangerous be kidnapped on purpose so I could say daddy they're missing this crazy so batshit cutscene you heard me now just take me with you it's okay I'm learning about the, the expanse telltale series I uh -huh. hear that's what? good you should instead watch yeah, the expanse television it. show Come on, maybe yes. something very good Rachel joins you the deep. party alright like now seeing... I can play as her yeah. You like seeing how fucked up space capitalism is gonna be? Have I got Not really. For you. I mean, it should be obvious how fucked up space capitalism is gonna be. Yep, the Expanse has a very compelling version of it. It does, yeah. For if you're a belt loader. Oh, look at this! She's got a little anime fang. Oh, okay. So she's a tsundere. And she's got tonfa. Oh. Uh -huh. The little sticks on your arms. The Arm little sticks. Okinawan fighting sticks. Hmm. Is that what the Sui Coden 2 guy uses? Yes. Yes. says dust shoot and there's a broken handle on the floor i have to find something else to open it every once in a while you get a lore video in power of time where it just sounds like some guy that should have been doing world war ii documentaries on the history channel 25 yeah. years ago just tells you about some random science fiction bullshit yeah like, that what is yeah. this so on uh that game was i believe made in poland Wait, which game? Uh, Tower, Tower of Tower Time. Time. It's uh, a real time with pause um, strategy. It's a CRPG. Oh no. Just firmly dungeon crawler, no real choices. Except you can uh, make your uh, companions. Don't worry, it's, 
Don't yeah, worry, it's, it's not all that complex. It's a bit of a play spinning thing otherwise. If you get negative alignment of them, you can have like negative mana regeneration and stuff, so. I, I just love... look up what the, the things do so I can keep spinning the plates. Man, I love plate spinning. It's, it's my favorite thing. So far below being trivial, it doesn't matter. Yeah, there's definitely a little bit of an MMO plate spinning aspect to that combat. But I think the the fact that the encounters are all bespoke helps. I'm halfway I'm a little over halfway through it, and I do think I've solved it at this point. So I, I think it's kind of uh outsting its welcome, but I'll I'll keep with it for a bit longer. It's not very long, is it? It's fairly long. I thought it was like a 20 to 30 hour thing, which is not short, but Yeah, that's not also, short. That's also that's not like normal CRPG length. <laughs> I, 30 maybe I think I GOG says I'm like 17 in and I feel like I'm based off of number of levels you can get I think I'm two thirds in uh, are you defusing a bomb right now no I'm playing Simon Anyway, the terrorists took over the building, but this 11-year-old girl with fighting sticks is going to stop them. Yeah. What's anime? It's the anime. So... Nonsense Maria and Rondo of Blood. Have you watched that new uh, Castlevania anime? I have still not finished the original. I, oh, I've been struggling wait, to watch there, stuff wait, recently. Wait, there's a new one? That, that, yeah, that coming. yeah, with Richter. Oh, yeah, the Richter one didn't. I, I, oh, I didn't, there's Richter one. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know it came out. I saw the trailer. Oh, for I need it to watch that. Was awesome. Have you seen the trailer for it? No, I, I had no it's idea it existed. Very good. Yeah, oh it, shit. Yeah, yeah, new, new Castlevania thing. New well, Richter Castlevania. Uh, and there, what if I told you there is a reference to Giant Bomb hidden in the background of one of that game shots? That'd be very cool. Anime shots. There's a gravestone that says Bradley S. Barkerville. That's... Yeah. <laughs> Good. Sure. I have put in the chat... So Joku's trailer. gonna hate the new Castlevania is what you're telling me. Yeah. Wait, why? I, I think it's... I don't know if it's a joke or not. He does not seem to like Brad. Oh. Heh. Listen, I... Oh, dog's flipping out. So it's not the trailer I originally saw, but... Mm. Well, I guess I need to get Netflix for a month. Uh, he dramatically puts his bandana on at some point during this trailer. Yeah! The vampire killer plays in the background. Yeah! <laughs> so exactly what you fucking want. Good. There's plenty of gore. Okay. Oh, I actually never watched season four of the first one. How I did things either. resolve? Yeah, I haven't oh, okay. seen three or four. I, sh I need to watch four. Three is very good, but also Three's incredibly good. depressing. I've heard yeah. that the fight he has with death in season four is, like, phenomenal. Oh, there's a fight with death in season four. I guess I should watch yeah, that. Yeah, I need to watch that. Because the, the whole thing with the lady vampires and the two uh, artificers, whatever they are, that uh, just wasn't that interesting. Well, none of them are, are especially long, right? So I, I, I could probably get through them at some point. I've just been struggling oh, yeah. to watch television lately. lately. Oh, she has a butt slam! She has a hip slam! Video games are good! 
Yeah, you see, it's a classic. Look, magical girl hearts erupt. Anyway, the yeah, dog's seems... flipping the fuck out. I'm gonna yell at him. You should play this entire game through to completion. Yeah, I should. Harvey. All right, anyway. so it uh, turns out Anthem is the most mediocre game I've ever seen in my life. What a surprise. I was very shocked, personally. Uh, did you play Mass Effect Andromeda? Yes. Mass Effect Andromeda was, was kind of weird in its own right. Hmm, really? Yeah. Like, yeah, like the, the way it was wrong-headed was was kind of somewhat interesting. Whereas Anthem is like, I don't know, an, up an updated, uh, what was that, Firefall? God, Firefall, right, the MMO. Yeah. Bugs. Was Anthem as buggy as Firefall? How many uh, fuck bugs? Uh, it's, oh. uh, it's, it's not, it's not <laughs> buggy anymore. It wasn't yeah, the whole bugs. thing about that game was like, you would go out and you bugs. would like... You would basically just set up. A, I think they were somewhat procedurally generated, like like survival like sequences against incoming waves of bugs. Unsurprisingly, Firefall uh, did not last long. Yeah, it didn't didn't go anywhere. Firefall or Defiance? You have to pick one. Um, I would choose. I'd pick Defiance. Apparently that thing did find a weird life after uh, it was basically dead. Oh, what was that game from 2020? Uh, it was kind of like uh, Anthem, Defiance, all of them, that life service thing. Uh, Polish game developer, you're on another planet. Things are oh, going wrong. Um, I was talking about, it was from the People Can Fly. It was from People Can Fly. Yeah, yeah. But I forgot the name of it. Uh, I know Braden played some of it and was like, "This seems cool." Um, I was thinking of the name just a few minutes ago, but I forgot. Because I played, the, I played it on Game Pass for a little while. <laughs> I, I beat that game and I forgot the name. Tabula Rasa? No, no. no. Like a few yeah, years just, ago. Like just saying what people are saying in chat. Thank you, Yatsu. Um, fuck. What was the name of that game? It's Outriders. 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 Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so uh, so between uh, uh, Defiance, Firefall, Anthem, and Outriders, I'd play Outriders. I didn't include Outriders. It was Defiance or Firefall. Make your yeah, choice. My, yeah, my answer, my answer is Outriders. I imagine a lot of people would agree with you, because like, as bland as like the world was, people seem to think Outriders played really well. It played okay, and the weird and like the story was poorly done, but kind of weird. The bit. only good, the only good story that uh, uh, people can fly ever did was Bulletstorm. Oof! It's just a lot of some guy saying he's gonna get you up the butthole or something. I can't remember any specific line from that game. Just general, pure just like dog shit. Complete misuse of swearing. The entire game. Uh, there was a couple, there were a couple side quests in Outriders that were somewhat clever. So that's probably the best writing they've ever done. Gats, you hit us. What is the one line from Bulletstorm you remember? I'm gonna kill your dick. <laughs> yep. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, that's pretty good. They paid somebody to say that. I hope they paid her very well. They probably now, didn't. They probably no, did not, no. So no, that's like, a hey, game. I get to buy groceries this evening. Anyway. Yeah, she made a stage thing like, for this one. Like halfway to rent. Doing that game. She, my, it, it seems like voice actors usually have a few jobs going on at any given time. Yeah. That's why I said halfway to rent. Halfway to rent my. <laughs> My favorite play. Uh, Somebody's made that. Presumably, they've made some weird like rent-like play musical. Uh, bes besides that one part of Two America World Police. Sure. Not in my head. Why we mentioned rent? I have to pay some bills. 
Hey. Mm, to be an adult. I hate that. Yeah, it sucks. You can always just be homeless if you want it, you know. Yeah, but then I can't play video games and talk to you, Chuckle Fucks. Oh, that is true. That might improve your life in some ways, actually. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't watch track if you were homeless. And really, what's the point of life if you can't watch track? I agree. Oh, track. I was just like, what the fuck is he even saying? It's not like you were saying oh, sorry, track. I'm sorry. Track. Sorry. Hard Edge. How about that? Yeah, hard Edge is a better name. Why didn't they keep the name Hard Edge? No. Tra track Mission of Mercy is, su is such a good, dumb name. Tactical Rescue Assault Group? Is that what it is? It's right up there with yeah, Raw. Yeah, they the fear. Yeah. That's what, that's, that's what fear got the idea. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. All right, so what does TRAG stand for? We forgot. Uh, totally rad and good. Man. I um, I keep defaulting to the uh, stars uh, meaning, but I know that it's not that. Special tactics and recon. Yeah, so you're like uh, like tactical rescue assault group. Yeah, that sounds right. Anyway, would this game be better if someone said, I'm gonna kill your dick at some point? Yes. And wouldn't every game be improved be improved with that? Yeah. I think Starfield would be talked about a lot more if somebody yelled, I'm gonna kill your dick. Oh, look at this! Yeah, yeah. Oh, th that's just a giant scorpion. What's that doing there? Sorry. Um, anyway, I had to, uh, placate an anxious dog. Did you succeed? I think Hard Edge is a better name than Trag, though. No. Hard Edge, Hard Edge sounds better. Like, Trag is stupid, but I still think Hard Edge is just better. Trag is stupid, but unique. Whereas Hard Edge, that could be anything. I don't feel like it's unique. It's just bad. It's silly, like this game. I mean, so is Hard Edge. No, Hard Edge sounds like it's it's like a sequel to Soul Edge, or something. Yeah. That sounds like a weapon fighter. Okay, but what about Soul Blade? Yeah, that yeah, that's that's a weapon fighter. And so Hard Edge would sound similar to that. All right, I'll see you guys at tabletop. Yep. Have fun. A porter robot is blocking the way. Well, no wonder. The battery unit's been taken out. Oh, we gotta take the battery unit from the... This is a Resident Evil game. I mean... Anyway, uh, the dog was literally on my roommate's desk. Uh, he is a... Uh -huh. Like, stare... Like, he had gotten himself up on the desk to look out the window. Uh-huh. So he could look at the neighbors and bark at them. Nice. Um, also, he needed to pee pee. So it was good uh. that I had let him out. Good thing this game has infinite grenades. Anthem. I mean. Yeah. You want to be on our anthem podcast? Sure. Talk about everyone's favorite uh, video game, Anthem. The uh, 2017 game of the year? Absolutely. Yeah. Wait, well, is it 2019? 2019. What year was this? Oh, Jesus. It's 2023. I have bad news. Yeah. And I love how the uh, message on the front page of Anthem is like, celebrating one year. Yeah, I was the one that put that on yeah. the Discord. So you did. It's very sad. Like, extremely sad. I hope Dragon Age Dreadwolf is 
good enough. It doesn't even need to be great, just needs to be good enough to remind people that Bioware can be good. Or at least could be good. Yeah, Anthem was 2019. It was the before times. Also, consider that Bioware has not made another video game. Eesh. Since Anthem. Do we actually think that Dragon Age and Mass Effect 4 are going to come out? I believe that Dragon Age will come out. Dragon Age will probably come out. Mass Effect 4 is never happening. How long until Bioware closes after Dragon Age comes out? Uh, let's say, let's give it months. six months. Uh, it depends on uh, how, um, how well bloodthirsty... Does. Yeah, it depends on uh, okay. how well Dreadwolf does, which the answer will be not well enough. Yeah. So it turns out Anthem is designed to be played in co-op. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You need. Uh, you need. Uh, who would have thought? Uh, that's why there's uh, infinite waves of bad guys and uh, mini bosses with shields. Yeah. I mean, y'all. If y'all are gonna play it for a podcast, why don't y'all play in co-op? What do you think? I mean, gonna I do on. Uh, I mean, I don't know what these truck gonna truck do on gonna play it. Mm. I'm just doing some of my own, so I can uh, so I can understand what they're talking about. Technology. Oh, that's where the guy is. Oh. It's a good thing he's invincible. Need floor key to open the door. So are you having fun with Trag? It's, it's I'm having a good time. I've I, I have not reached the I'm having I'll put it this way. I'm having enough fun that I'm not immediately uh staring at a guide. That's good. That's encouraging. So, are there any uh, seasonal anime uh, for the for this upcoming season that you're excited for? All right, just just to humor you, I'm uh, gonna look this up. I don't, I don't watch anime. All right. Good for you. Anime, seasonal anime. What is uh, happening fall of 2023? Oh fuck, Shield Hero season three. Oh yeah. And oh, that's Goblin gonna be a banger. Slayer season two. Cool, very cool, very double, cool. And normal double shows. helping of incel action. Anyway, the cat's here now. Kitty. So, and he's gone. Understand that Goblin Slayer's first episode is like one of the worst 
the first episodes of all time. Oh no, ever. like I, I watched that and just immediately went, nope. Like the first five minutes of any anime, right? Yeah, just like, just immediate, like, oh, this is what you're doing, huh? What and then apparently it's not it? what they're doing. But, is it? Uh, what if I told you uh, the opening episode of Goblin Slayer uh, features non-explicit uh, rape? I mean, so is the first episode of Psycho Pass. <laughs> yeah, but Psycho Pass, you see, Psycho Pass is also edgy garbage, but it's good edgy garbage. Yes. Well. I, so I, from what from what I know, Go Goblin Slayer opens on some random adventure party getting destroyed by a pack of goblins, and one of the female members being gang raped by the goblins before killed. Oh, so the edgy is puzzle. garbage. But then the rest of the show is completely different, apparently. The rest of the show is just about, like, this dude who is basically Batman, but specifically for killing goblins. I know, deeply cursed. Unlike this game. Uh, yeah. But hey, you know, once again, Shield Hero Season 3, my boys. Uh, uh. What's wrong with Shield Hero? Uh, Shield Hero is like what it. It's an isekai power fantasy specifically aimed at the incel crowd. Okay, so yeah, like, the, like, like he's you know the only nice guy, but people are mean to him, even though he's the nice guy. And why doesn't everyone like him? He's only such a nice guy. Also, he's, he has he a, even, he he has even a uh, treats a slave girl. well. He's a slave, but he treats her well, so it's okay. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't actually know what the solution to that puzzle was, but, uh... Was it like, uh, the seasons? Maybe. Point is, I solved the puzzle. But it's also one of those things where, like, the edgy premise of the show is also, like, slightly undercut by it just turning into a generic anime, fantasy anime, but, you know, with a little bit of edge. Yeah. Uh, isn't the uh, Spy Family getting it season two? Yes. And I will watch that. Yeah, people like that show. It's fun. It's 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 like the uh, little pink-haired goblin child. Yeah, is, is very it's got cute. a little pink-haired goblin child, and she you makes good lines. facial expressions. The best faces. Okay. So I need someone else to come through and open this door. Maybe.
All right, let's see what else is seasonally anime. Uh, some sort of isekai, more Dr. Stone, I guess. Was, is Dr. Stone any good? No. I mean, it's, it's like the, it's the newest shonen, right? I mean, it's not even the newest shonen. The newest shonen is Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, okay. I thought that was saying that's, uh, that's that's the that's the shonen all the Bleach kids are watching these days, or the Bleach uh... equivalent kids, I should say. I don't know. People seem to like it. I haven't heard anything terribly controversial about it. Uh, let's see. Anything else of note? Tokyo Revengers. I'm sure. Is that any good? I have no idea. I have not consistently There's... watched seasonal anime for about five years. Oh, uh, okay. So, I thought you were one of the anime guys. No, I so I fell off of watching an, like anime regularly. Oh, uh, okay. Then you're the wrong. Then you're the wrong one to ask. I because um the thing I about watching you anime that. regularly is that most of it is bad. Uh huh. The last thing I watched was Dororo, which I thought was pretty good. Did you watch the second and third seasons of Dororo? Not do ra ra ra, Dororo. Oh, different thing. Not to be, and also not to be confused with Dorohedororo. Yeah, of course. Uh, but no, this is the one about the guy who lost all of his body parts and was on a journey to get them back. Yeah, the Tezuka one. Yeah. It's, it was all right. I wonder if Trag got an OVA. Oh, I hope. That seems like something that would happen. I hope so. Hey, kitty. Is the kitty a good boy? Uh, I mean, he is, he is a sweet little fluffy prince. Uh, good. who loves staring out my window. Of course. Oh. That's where all the birds are. That's where, all, yeah, that's where all the birds and rodents are. Um. All right, what are you doing? What are you doing, bud? Okay. Hey, jump on my lap. Yeah, that's that's another hour of trag. Another hour of trag. T R. You have to do. You have to. All right. You still got another party member to get. Yep. So are there hostages in the skyscraper, or what's going on? Yeah, maybe. Hey, kitty. Yeah, at some point I will watch uh, Jujutsu Kaisen and be like, yeah, this is fine. I kind of think I'd really just watch a bunch of, like, 90s animes instead. Seems just a, I can, I can... Like Initial D. Yeah, like Initial D. Hell yeah. It used to be where cool I was good anime uh, They smoke. Yatsu, yeah, what if I yeah. told you I've already seen all of Gintama?
Except for the, the movie that finishes the story. Um, which... Why didn't you watch the movie? Because I haven't gotten around to it. Because it the movie came out during Pandemic. Oh, I thought Gintama was a 90s thing. No, Gintama is an aughts thing. I figured this is a movie that came out like 25 years ago. No, it's a movie that came out two years ago. Um, I could just do the Kenny Alderdale although, thing where I only Kenny, ever watched I'll, extremely although, obscure I'll put it this anime. Way, Gintama ran Hell long yeah. was like running long enough as a, as a manga that it made jokes about both the launch of the Nintendo Wii and also uh, jokes about various Japanese politicians who maybe uh, cried very loudly on television. Oh, it's you! Hey, well, no, I think that the important point here is that uh, the correct way to watch anime is, is to find 90 yen reason. VHS tapes online and no, buy it, them it, and then what, review them. Hey, just go find Big 40p Pirate Streams. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, you gotta, you gotta. I'll be back in a minute. Gotta get a sick, uh, you gotta go to anime convention in, in Tampa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you gotta, you gotta get this fan sub from Miami Mike. Uh-huh. Um. All right. I mean, I could think of no better uh, premise for a YouTube channel than reviewing just the worst 80s anime. The, I mean, that's... There's a lot of that. Oh, okay. Well, I only know about Kenny Lauderdale. I mean, Kenny Send Lauderdale me is, once again, the... Yeah. Ken, Kenny Lauderdale is America's hero. Is he American or Canadian? You can never tell with these YouTubers. I, I have no idea. Who? Uh, Kenny, Kenny Lauderdale. Lauderdale. He's a YouTubist. I don't know. I mentioned him just now, and I don't know. If he... But yeah, he has a... Oh, yeah, no, I've watched him. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of, like... I remember the the anime people of, of the, the late aughts very much, like, Bad willing people. to review the weird fucked-up OVAs from the 80s. Because there are a lot of them, and they're mostly bad. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. They're... Oh yeah, no, they, they finished Gintama and then they put out a movie or they put out an announcement being like, haha, nerd. Uh, for our 20th anniversary, we're doing our, uh, we're doing a thing before our 20th anniversary. One of my favorite jokes in Gintama is the one about how all mangaka are actually just gorillas, except for the guy who writes JoJo, 
who is That's in pretty fact good. an immortal fairy. That's pretty good. Because if you look at photographs of Araki, uh, dude, dude is, I believe, almost 60, and he looks almost the same as when he started writing JoJo in the 80s. Oh, the Hideo Kojima yeah. aging effect. And, you know... Hey, JoJo Part 9 is going on still. Oh, I remember that bit. So, so what you're saying is uh, Gintama's good. Yeah, Gintama is, is very good. There's a bit where all of the characters uh, try to uh, pants each other in order to alter their jump popularity ratings. They're shown in jump character poll ratings. Uh. Because they're like, if you get your pants pulled down, then you will become less popular. Sounds like the start of something that doesn't belong in Shop and Jump. Uh, how do you feel about pixelated male nudity? Because Gintama loves it. Uh, uh, penises are very funny. Yeah, but like, blurred out male nudity because it's still a Shop and Jump. Anime. They're funnier when they're censored. Sorry, that's Yeah, the, the Neo Armstrong Cyclone Armstrong Jet Cannon, which is uh, definitely not a penis. It's a Neo Armstrong Cyclone Jet Cannon. It's it's not a penis. Why would you assume that? Yes, there's no such thing as phallic imagery. No. this room I might have missed this room oh, some advice when by when you start anthem the first hour isn't really co-op friendly yeah I, I, I already played through the uh, opening oh good I got I got my I got my javelin good I picked the fast class wow how does Anthem compare to Destiny 2? Destiny Not 2 is a much better video game. Destiny 2 is a better video game. Alright, there we go. Oh, acting. I know that you hid the system disc. She's got big boobs. <gasps> what are you talking about? I suggest you talk. If you value your life. Where is it? I'm telling you, I don't know. Too bad for you, then. Oh shit, she's got a laser sword. <laughs> I love lasers. <laughs> People who lie really get on my nerves. <laughs> Oh, she's even better. Laser claw. Yeah. Oh no, an evil la Oh no. Please don't stab me, madam. What a fucking animation is she's walking away. That's <laughs> bad. 
Look, if this I'm game just... came out today, how many weird new nerds would not want to get stabbed by her? Um, uh, all the FMA Lust fans are starving right now. I like it when the the cat so the cat has an automatic feeding bowl mm -hmm. for his dinner, um, mm -hmm. and it's great because when it goes off, he you can just hear him sprinting towards it. He will drop whatever he is doing and run to his food bowl. Cause he's oh, like, kitty. Anyway, I got the key I needed. But at what cost? Check that, terrorist. Once again, I res can respect any game with just a hip, hip crush move. A hip crush? Uh, a hip, a hip drop. Oh yeah. Where it's like, Harry, hey, hey, here's a 14 year old girl with who attacks with their booty. And I'm like, yeah, that's anime. That's the 90s. Oh, yeah, that's, that's like in uh, Battle Arena Toshinden, uh, the fan service girl who attacks with her butt. Yeah. And of course, the girl that attacks with her butt is the only one who's underage. Speaking of 80s OVAs, there's one called Butt Attack Punisher Girl. Kinking. Um, so you know you can you can review all of those. The problem is uh, you're not allowed to show very much of any of them without YouTube going no no no. So you have to do the Patreon thing of getting a different video host and having people pay. To yeah, see get that. Stuff. Yeah, get the uncensored versions of your videos on Patreon. Yeah, go the mother's basement route. That's why Deep Listens should start a um, uh, porn game. Uh, podcast Listen, that only I, I'll uh, put it this way airs for patrons only uh, Gino Gino has made it clear that because he attaches his real name to the podcast oh. uh -huh. um, <laughs> he would prefer not to cover pornographic material you know that makes sense because that's the kind of thing that can be google searched back to you it turns yeah, out no, I, I, yeah. yeah no, that makes sense that's reasonable. 
uh, also from the chat, uh, how hard is your edge right now? Uh, it's, it's rather flaccid. Playing the find the next key item so I can open another door. That's a fun game. the PC-98 aesthetic, but also it's one of those things where it's like you can tell this is an arrow game because the main character is just a weird horn dog. I mean, whom's amongst us? So how far are you in it? Uh, I... A couple hours. I honestly cannot wait for you to see the ending. I'm looking forward to it. Hold on! Professor Howard's back there. Quick! You got to save him! Like every single line delivery you give is okay. the wrong one. That's how you know it's a good game. used to be good. I know, right? <laughs> that was pretty good. In the corner, it's just more explosives. Out of my way, or the pro gets it. You are you deaf or what? I said, out of the way. The pro, the pro. <laughs> Weird Waluigi, blue Waluigi motherfucker. Is mine. Now it's time for you to freeze the death. <laughs> Dar. <laughs> Look, coolant gas. Dar. Temperature's dropping fast. 
Look, coolant gas. We've got to break through this shutter. Oh yeah, when you're going to stop streaming, give me like a 10 minute notice. Okay. Michelle, can you hear me? They took Professor Howard off somewhere. I'm still checking things out here. I'll meet up with you as soon as I'm done. I'll try to find the professor. Watch out for them, okay? You, you found the professor, then you let Roger. him get taken. You're a very bad special force man. He's bad at being trag. Traditional masculinity. Yes. That anything? Hey. Uh, tragic. Uh, masculinity. How about that? Just so you know, I'm probably going to stop in like 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Cool. I think this game might just be good. Yeah, no, it's just a, it's a good game. It's a classic. How come weirdos on the internet aren't? What? What do you mean? Trag about weirdos. Where are all my trag heads at? Uh, they're all speedrunners, apparently. See, this this makes uh, Chase the Express slash. Uh, Covert Ops, Nuclear Dawn, worth it? Oh, that this made it worth it? Yeah. Because Th this... This game has everything I want, which is to say it's weird. And it does not annoy me to play. Oh, wait. Uh, chat is correct. Uh, Trag fans should be called Edgelords. You're right. Yeah. When you're right, you're right. Time to remember where that safe is. Okay, yeah. So, uh, hard edge fans, uh, when they when they pull, when they stream or play uh, track, they're edging. I think that's legally what they have to be called. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's where the puzzle solution was. Is that a cyber ghost? It's a hologram, which uh, uh, one might call a cyber ghost.
found a secret code card. Oh, I know where a decoding butt thing is. What's crack a lackin? Hello, what's trag a lackin? You should be asking. Uh, did you hear about the recent controversy with the Transformers related no, to this? No, I don't give a right. fuck. Do you want to know about the recent controversy? What's the controversy with the Transformers, Chris? They renamed the uh, the Dinobot. That's the... Uh, what, what are the dinosaurs that have the three horns on them? Triceratops. Tigodon? Or Triceratops, okay. Um, yeah, they renamed him to be Slug. You know what his real original mm -hmm. name was? Was it Slug? What? No, it's slag. Okay. Okay, what's well, why? Okay, I, I okay. Understand. Um, let me let me uh offer my hot take on this. I don't care. You should get off t t X, as they call it. Oh, Justin, uh, slag in most uh British British language means to fuck. Yeah. Um, and no, so you see, uh, this is why I am angry. Why? Because uh, they're they're taking my uh, transforming plastic robot toys away from me. I mean, we got a Canadian in chat. Like, are Canadian swear words more American or British? Canadian swear words are like, oh, you poser. I'm gone for two minutes, and you're talking about fucking. Listen, ZP, oh, ZP joined, ZP joined oh, and started go. immediately talking about something that no one should care about. Oh uh, yeah, like like you mean you mean uh, the site formerly known as Twitter? Yeah, from the site formerly known as Twitter. I call it Twitter. Well, guess what? The owner doesn't. I don't care. So edgy. Freer of gift. Was wrong. Okay, that is true. But no, yeah, if uh, Jatsu and the other Canadians in chat are still talking, are, are like Canadian swear words British more or less, or are they American? They're American. Yeah, because Canada is basically America. Canada is America, you know? but they complain about having $90 games in the same breath. They will smugly talk about. Their healthcare system. Their healthcare system, and how much less racist they are than America. I wouldn't say I, that. That latter part. Well, listen. It's the thing that every every other civilized nation does, is talk down to Americans about how racist they are, then neglect to talk about the part where some politician, some political group in their country is very. Or you know, about like brown their own people. personal countries, like legacy in imperialism. Yeah, just don't bring up uh, the Roma people to a European. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because they all turn into Hitler when you do that. God, listen. Anyway, so how the uh, how's the dubiosity going? This game is actually this game isn't dubious. It's not bad. Is it good? It might be good. Oh, the fucking stuff in Canada about like they recognize some sort of uh, Nazi war criminal accidentally because he yeah that people. was. That was a whoopsie. That was that was a, a little little oopsie. At least the guy resigned over it. Yeah, no, in the United States, uh, they would uh, 
get elected again, re-elected to the house if they said something like that. I mean, associating with neo-Nazis is how you get elected in some districts in the U.S. Or Germany. Or Germany. Hello, East Germany. Okay, so... Hard Edge. Oh, Yes, well, uh, so ZP, uh, Wait, this how man's hard gonna is suplex right a robot? Suplex. Great. No, he did not suplex the robot, but he did. Oh, damn it. He did throw it. He did throw uh, he it. He should have suplexed it. Look at this man! Hey, are you okay? <laughs> yes, thanks to you. Well, helping out My your position. leotard donning uh, female companion. Forces. How about you? I'm a local detective. The name's Byford. Burns Byford? I've been investigating. Burns Byford. In relation to a yeah. recent kidnapping. What the f I was talking about this guy's name earlier. The kidnapping of Professor Howard's daughter a few days ago. So you know the prof? Everyone says you know the prof? Not personally. I was just sent in to rescue the professor. So he is here. I knew it. But hey, this is no time to be chatting. There are a lot of traps up ahead. You're in the special forces. Could you help me get through? Sure thing. Burns joins the party. Oh, his special weapon is punching, probably. Okay, now we can go through. I see. Look at this guy's portrait! Pretty good. Hard Look at that yes. art! So he's it's basically a, good portrait. a monk. Man. Uh, Brayden, I think you should finish with this game. Oh. Oh, we're, we're already ahead I, of you. I feel like... That seems to be his goal. This might be a play until finished sort of thing. Man, look at that face portrait. Just reading you. walking animation. The fact that they made his character so it's ripped. How else would he nearly suplex a robot? So I appear to have lost my Beyond Beyond save. That's a problem. Guess it's... Guess you'll just have to play... Time to start from the beginning. Oh. What's another uh, high-quality early PSX JRPG? I was 14 hours into it. So you gotta restart. Uh... You know, it's such a good game, you gotta restart. It's not like that 14 hours is, you know, anything worthwhile. Probably starts at the 30 hour mark, right? by other containers. I can't move it an inch. If I could only get to the other side. Hmm. Yeah. Oh! He slams the ground and goes, Dynamite! Fuck you, I'm yeah. Burns Byford! Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Took steel wire. 
But does this mean they put the two they they put the two melee characters together? Uh, yeah. To be fair, I chose that. Okay. Let's okay, good. I found it. Okay, you found your save. Good. Yeah. Jesus. bypass this electric bear. Yes. It says it's stu it's stuck on. It's blocked by other containers. Are you looking at something? Up? Yeah, I'm staring at the guy. Okay. All right. I was like, wait a minute. Did Braden break or something? Oh, okay. No. Worse. Uh, what happened to Sunsoft? They they still are out there. They're still working. Yeah. I haven't heard the name of Sunsoft in a long time. They're, they're mostly a support studio these days. Uh huh. Come on! Yeah, they still exist. They've teased the idea of, um, bringing their old games back. But you know Sunsoft because they were <laughs> for almost the Come entirety on, of the Wii turns. into the late there. or the early Wii U. They were the people doing all of Nintendo's port jobs of games to the Wii's virtual console. It's Gashu! Oh, I don't know them from that because I never messed with the virtual console. Like every, almost practically every Imagine major WiiWare game on Nintendo that was a, a nostalgia You're trip the was uh, the country, them Gashu. reporting or doing the, the heavy lifting. You in. I know that they did, uh, they worked with uh, Gaijin Works for the You're translation. Like really gonna be able to make I just here. I just remember the name Sunsoft Inside. from some Daffy Duck game I played as a kid on the Nintendo. Going down. <laughs> Bye. That's I'm on several that's things. not how you say bye bye. But stop mouthing bye. off and stay where you are, punk. <laughs> What's that? What's that? No, I know, I know that I know Rio Starwin if he's still in chat. He played the uh, reboot Blaster Master games. Are those actually good? Those kind of came and went, like Blaster Master oh, Zero. Fuck. That's a big glowing neon spider. Or a scorpion. Uh, there's uh, big scorpions in the skyscraper for some reason. So is this better or worse than the scorpion robot model in uh, Final Fantasy VII? Robot in Final Fantasy VII, you kind of like done with that pretty quickly, right? Yeah, it's like the first boss. Mario boss. Yeah. So, you know, that one's probably easier than this. Uh huh. Is it, is it better? You know, that's a very subjective thing. You know, it depends. Subjective. Your ass. That, it, that my ass is very subjective, yes. No. <sighs> There's a lot more movement in this uh, battle, let's just say. Oh, it's, 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 it's more action -y. you know, there's more punching of the spider uh, in real-time combat. Now, does it control as well? Probably not, but 
to the top of the seventh as mini base, so that's kind of cheating because you're not controlling anything. Really. Oh, look at his backflip! Controlling your dreams and desires. Yes, but you're also um, regretting your words and deeds, so there's a balance there. Oh, the Blaster Master Zero games get crazy with the story? Ooh, I did not know that. Dynamite. Dynamite. Is it weird that when you say Blaster Master, I think of Beyond the Thunderdome? Can they port those games to PC? Dynamite. Yeah, those are oh, all not... uh, Steam. Yeah. That, that's not weird uh, for Master, because I was thinking it's going to be Okay, good. Every time someone says that, I'm thinking. Oh, right, the Blaster Master uh, reboot people are the Gunvolt people, right? Those fucking people. Inti creates. Inti, yeah. Yeah, the Mega Man Zero people, you know. The, they make good video games. Bloodstained people. Well, the Bloodstained, like, Nest Throwback people, not the, not the main. Yeah, yeah. No, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Yeah. Also, the They made a sequel to Blood Curse of the Moon. Yeah, which, yeah, I, that game's great. The, the second one is also good. <laughs> I remember, like, liking the uh, retro throwback Gunvolt, Mighty Gunvolt, and then the actual Gunvolt came out and it's like, I don't know if I actually like the look of this or how it controls, so I'm going to pass, but that pseudo 8-bit throwback game that kind of reminded me of uh, Dark Void Zero. That's pretty good. Games. I just think they're a little too... Fast paced anime for Mega Man. Hey, good, good. Is I, fast paced for you? Some of you really like Mega Man here. I thought I really liked them, but I never got it. Never got really into them. <laughs> hey, uh, Brayden. Yeah. Is this a Souls game? No. No, because. Is this uh, a Souls like? That is true. That explosion effect was pretty disappointing. Yeah, well, listen. It's DS1. Uh, Do you really have to fucking the elevator's infer not working. into a microphone? We've got to find another way to get upstairs. You should only do that on your own streams. Don't muck up other streams. Leave it to me. I don't I'll know why. I, can do with I feel like wire. it's socially acceptable to do that because I know it's not. And I, I every Is single time I say I'm sorry and I mean it. And then I don't do, yeah, I don't yeah, follow what I do. Yeah, you're like a dog who needs to constantly... Oh, you were I, I'm genuinely bar, sorry. Please. I want you to know I'm, that I'm sorry. And you do it, time after time. Are you sorry. really sorry? Yeah, I am. I am. I am. Anyway, the Leotard sword combo really works for Michelle. Yeah, I, I mean, it worked for... Oh, yeah. Oh man, like is this uh skimpier and more accentuating than Cammy of no. this time? No, because there's no skin. Like it's, she's wearing tights under her leotard, which is interesting. Also they were doing things oh. in the street by the way, by the way. When did when did Street Fighter EX when did that first Arika game come out? Uh, the first Arika Street Fighter EX was uh 90 96? 95? 96 I think. Um, I those believe had Street Fighter EX and Street Fighter Alpha both came out the same. And again, like, just to, to highlight how people didn't know it was good, there were people who thought that EX looks better than Alpha. I mean... Because it's got the polygonies, so the polygons. Listen, Arika makes weird uh, fighting games. You mean bad? Yeah, I mean good. Um... Wait, Arika, who are they? Uh, uh, the people Arika... who did those 3D Street Fighter games. Arika also made like, every good digital version of Tetris. 
for the last 20 years. Yeah, Grandmaster Ace. Yeah, Tetris the Grandmaster. Oh, those guys. Uh, also, like, Disney Tetris Challenge for the N64. A good game. Yeah, good game. Why are you beating up Dalsim? No, I'm not beating up Dalsim. I'm beating up horrible mutants. Dalsim, like Dalsim. you mean Dalsim? Are talking oh, about Dalsim, Dalsim isn't a mutant. He just does yoga. And I, I... Same difference. I did manage a little air juggle there. This game is amazing. 10 out of 10. Gong Leotard also. It's a functional tactical re leotard. Tell me otherwise. Oh, oh so oh. you're an, uh, the lead artist behind some sort of Ichi anime? Last time I checked, if that's your mindset. No, it's the Oh, you got me. It's, also it's legal. It's not only uh, legally acceptable to put a woman in a leotard, it's also fun. I have to imagine that this character is kind of hard to cosplay because you're wearing tights and a leotard over the tights and then like that weird jacket. Yeah. It can't be easy. D room. I do want to say that I really do like, uh, <clears throat> I really do like Cammy's like Street Fighter Six default outfit. Oh yeah, and then it's they, great. And then they came out with her throwback leotard, and it's like, oh, you know. Yeah, they know. <clears throat> yes, Jotsu, that it is a, a lot of pieces for cosplaying a PS1 character. It's a bomb! Looks like a time bomb. And it's already been activated. If it explodes, this whole building will go down like a house of cards. We've got to deactivate it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's impossible. Gosh, you! Gosh, you! Both stubborn and stupid, aren't you? But not hey, too Master, you you're I've playing Ever Crisis. Surprises waiting for uh, yeah, actually, I'm watching the cutscene right now. Okay. Um, the weird, like, <laughs> hand painterly. 2D character portraits interlaced with like the weird highly rendered CG screens. And also the chibi um, uh, characters in the in-engine. But no, like I got to that cutscene where like Sephiroth's talking about his mom and he's like this shown in anime boy character portrait and then it's his mom, the 3D render from like Advent Children but up -resed. That's where that's from. Yeah, um, this game's a mess. Yeah, no, it's, it's uh, a, gotcha a bit game. sloppy. Oh no, foiled by a bridge. I do like the but fact also... that they give you all of these characters. Uh, and the yeah. gotcha is just giving them new stuff to put on and use. So you basically that is get good. that. That is cool. Um. But once but at the higher power levels, the gotcha becomes kind of necessary. Oh yeah, absolutely. The That's the part where I'm at. Is like, the, yeah. there is the wall. You do hit the gotcha wall, where it's like, hey, oh, you, if do. you put in the money. You know, this would be a lot faster. You're only gonna make it past two levels. Yeah, no. Yeah. Like once you hit power level like ninety thousand or something, like it, it exponentially slows. Which is a bummer, because I thought that it was actually a pretty generous gotcha. Like, especially after I decided to play some of those things that you linked in uh, Discord. So I decided to play Brave Exodus, which this still compares favorably to Brave Exodus. That wasn't me, that was him. Uh, but still, it 
it definitely is starting to like get annoying. Yeah, I think it it guides you through like the first s story content like pretty generously, but then after that, it's like, hey, if you're still here, you're here for the gotcha, not pay up. Which is sad because I think they deliberately structured the story in a manner to where just as things are starting to get interesting, that's when the gotcha kicks in. Yeah. Well, I mean, they are releasing chapters at, you know, one every few weeks. System disc is hidden in the jukebox. The system disc is Take hidden in the this. jukebox. Take this. So it's like chapter, event, chapter, like, event. Yeah, I mean, like. this thing is artistically a goddamn mess. Like, yeah, like you see these weird, like pretty realistic well done 3d backgrounds and then it's just these chibi blocks yeah and it's just like the weirdest creative choice like when you look into like what uh nomura wanted to do apparently he wanted he didn't want 2d character portraits he wanted fully animating 3d characters like with actual cutscenes. and it's like dog like the iphone 5 but the Pro phone overheating now. is yeah. a thing that's make it strain. Which I think that it's it's kind of funny they have the chibi characters with the uh, highly rendered backgrounds because that's what a modern version of like the pre-rendered style that they use in the original would be like. The original game, it, there is like a severe disconnect between like the crappy polygonal chibi models and like the highly rendered uh, backgrounds. So it's faithful to that in a way. Yeah, it's just, um, let's say, rough. It's also a mobile game, so no expectations. Yeah, what do I actually expect out of a mobile game? Not much. Like, not everything can be uh, Honkai, you know? But I'm just saying that, like, yeah, it's... it. I, I appreciate the game getting weird, but it's not getting weird enough quick enough for me. Yeah. Like, they drop all of those, like, so... Um... Like, Do either of you care about spoilers? That. You okay? Not even about... a slightest. No, no, no. I, I meant like uh, Justin and uh, Brady. I don't give a fuck no about good. spoilers. So I got to the Zack missions where you're with Angeal. Uh huh. He fell down from a And uh, yeah, that's a bunch of weird on, shit. Let's just say. To the sick room for first I mean, that's just Crisis Core, isn't it? Uh, it? It basically is Crisis Core. So it's like I guess they're gonna have to just bring whole parts and chunks of Crisis Core into Rebirth because these characters are now here. Hell and they yeah. keep teasing, like, is Genesis going to come back? Ah. Genesis totally good. He's, he was calling on his cell phone, Genesis. Yeah, like, who is Genesis? Uh, Genesis was a character also from Crisis Core. He's basically Angeal's foil. Like a friend of hers. Oh, uh, okay. That's good. His Yowie Lap rival? Up there? Yeah. Oh, okay. They planted a huge bomb upstairs. I don't know what they're playing at. They're, they're going to blow up the building. We don't deactivate that bomb. I can't believe it. This building will be blown to. Now this uh, Kingsfield blog, surprisingly, did pretty well for you. Yeah, there's actually a lot of discourse. That's more than I thought. But you're in no condition to move. I thought I was going to the cold shoulder. About me. From people, you know, like how uh, arbitrary yeah. water creates my uh, from hatery. You wait here while we go deactivate oh, that. Oh, but there's actually mean, there's actual Mr. Close minded. Every every line reads in this game is good. Yeah, it's a good game. Yes. You're oh, playing no. a good game and I feel betrayed. Michelle is is out cold. Not Michelle. Did, not Michelle. Maybe Burns is uh let her stunning rest smile. For now. Can you take a screen capture of that? Yeah. Th that that's going to be in the blog. Promise me that. Yeah.
No, I still maintain that, like, the weirdest, like, horror translation has to be Legend of Dragoon. Like, that game came from Sony. Why does that game's translation just make so many awkward, bad syntax errors? Are right, you gonna go with Rachel now? I could, but I mean, look at Bird. You hate Rachel. I mean, the actual thing is Rachel runs way faster than these two doofuses. That's why she's the uh, speedrun character. And if you're a pro gamer, you're going to play as Rachel. Yeah, I mean, once again... I, then now I, I've been linking that fight. image of uh, Sephiroth saying, she's my mother, and some people are like, this is an actual Ever Crisis. They don't have the weird character portraits with this art. It's like, boy, you have no fucking clue. This game. There, there's a reason why I shared that in the Discord the moment I saw it. Yeah. I, I have to... Did I post the image of Angel? Yeah, right. I, in my blog, I did post the image of, like, save. Angel. Forkmaster, are you yeah. ready to go? Yep, I'm ready. All right. What's up, Mr. Rock? We also have to sign out, because we have uh, a, a tabletop thing yeah, to do. So, best of luck. Minutes. We'll wish you the best. Uh, well, I'm going to play more of this. I'm going to try to finish this game. Cause, you should. Uh, the cutscenes are very good, and I don't hate playing it. Ergo, thus... Therefore, wherefore, you wherefore can expect our more uh, trag in the future. Where's the dubiosity? Uh, it, it was. Listen, sometimes not every game's dubious. Sometimes I the have trade. a good time. That's that's horrifying. I know. I. Believe it or not, I I actually enjoy playing video games. Can't Everyone's like, it. "Oh, Brayden, you play bad video games." I'm like, "No, I love bad video games." 